The next codility exercise is in lesson six, the sorting lesson, and it's the first task called distinct. Uh, let's get straight into this. So write a function that given an array A consisting of N integers returns the number of distinct values in the array A. For example, given the array A consisting of six elements, and those elements are 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, and 1. The function should return 3 because there are three distinct values, namely 1, 2, and 3. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions. n, which is the length of the array, is an integer within the range of 0 and 100,000. And each element in the array a is an integer within the range of minus a million and one million. Okay, so I've got a pre-prepared class in Eclipse. So I'll paste the uh, solution, uh, the empty solution method and get straight into it. I think this is a painless method. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a hash set because a hash set is very quick to check whether a value is already in there. And each time I see the value in the array A, I'll add it to the hash set if it's not already in there. And um, then I'll just return the length of the hash set. So I think this is a pretty simple, um, pretty simple exercise. So just add a method to output the result just put my own uh, my own example in there so So it'll be a hash set of integer values. And for each value in the array, I'm going to add it. Now, if it's already in there, it leaves the set unchanged. So I don't even need to do a if it's already in there. I just need to add it to the hash set. Um, now, if I was doing it with an uh, array list or something like that, the uh, it would have to loop through to see if it was already in there. But because it's a hash set, it will just know very quickly whether it's already in there. So that is, is as simple as that, I think. Uh, then I just need to return the length of the hash set. Uh, that's a very simple exercise, I think. So I'll just run it to test it. And one, two, three, one, two, three, the value is three. I'll just give it the example two, one, one, two, three, one. And we'll expect this to be three. Uh, uh, the neg numbers can be negative, so I'll give it minus 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 1. We'll expect this to be 3, minus 1, 0, and 1. I'll give it a 2 as well. We'll expect the, the answer to be 4. Um, the It did say in the um, exercise description that N is in an in the range of zero to 100,000. So a corner case would be giving it nothing. Uh, that's going to work. I'm fairly confident the answer is zero. Okay, so that is a fairly simple exercise. Um, if you use a hash set, if you use an array list, it will probably fail on efficiency. I'm going to just submit that. I'm confident that that is 
correct. And I'll just need to import the hash set. I'll run the tests. Okay, it's just giving it the one example, the example in the solution. And that's worked, but I'll submit that. I can't see anything going wrong. The hash set's very quick at checking whether the value's already in there. So I'm expecting 100%. Might be being overconfident again, but let's see. Six minutes taken. And 100%. Uh, some of the extreme cases were chaotic sequence, large random sequence in the range of minus a million to plus a million. Uh, these two here, another chaotic sequence in the, these two were using array lengths of 100,000, but that's no problem for a hash set. So that's a fairly straightforward exercise if you use a hash set. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.